First, we will look at the two constraints, h greater than or equal to 0 and greater than or equal to 0. That means we are restricted to the first quadrant. Now we will look at the two constraints, n less than or equal to 55 and h less than or equal to 10. One of those is vertical, the other is horizontal, and we can just put those on right away. The final inequality to look at is n plus h less than or equal to 60. First, we will graph the line n plus h equals 60 using the intercepts. So, as you can see, we have the n and h intercepts, and now we're good to graph the line. Now we need to use a test point to uh, figure out if we shade above or below the line. We'll use 0, 0 as the test point, and we get a true statement, which means we'll shade below the line. That's where 0, 0 is. And now that we've got all of the inequalities, we can find our feasible region, which is that pink shaded area there. But remember, we're restricted to the first quadrant because of the first two conditions. So you can see the five test points in the blue region. We can find all of our corner points. So there are all of the corner points that we must test. And now we'll pl plug them all into the function that we are trying to maximize. And as we can see, the maximum value is the 0.5 comma 55. And we are done.